Hello, this is Scott Pacheno, editor of telecoms.com here at the 5G Summit and User Congress in beautiful and historic Istanbul. And I'm delighted to be speaking to Mr. Xiaoming from ZTE. Um, the, a lot of what you're speaking about at this event um, is to do with global digital connectivity. Mm -hmm. So could you start by giving us ZTE's vision for that and maybe also how, what specific benefits we can expect from that vision? Yeah. As you can see, today we have gathered over 55 countries, uh, guests all, all around the world. Uh, we are talking about innovation. That's the uh, key word. Uh, for ZT, you know, we have been constantly focusing on the innovations. And we aim to be the uh, key enabler for the uh, global digitalization. And we have uh, you know, building the digital highway all around the world and, you know, all these innovations make us a true global industry leader. And ZTE is dedicated to continuous advancement and upgrading of the network technologies. Uh, I can give you a bit of example, like uh, UBR, FD, FDD, Massive MIMO, uh, Green Network Solutions, and uh, the RAN computing to create a more efficient, lightweight 4G, 5G uh, network for the future. Uh, talking about uh, UPR, we are the pioneer, and we are able to customize and combine multiple uh, frequencies that can be, can be supported with one radio unit, we call it uh, UPR. And that will help uh, the uh, customers uh, save a lot of space on the towers. And uh, of course, uh, the sites are getting smaller and they consume much less energy. Talking about uh, FDD uh, Massive MIMO, uh, you know, we, uh, the key uh, feature in 5G, that's, F, uh, that's TDD ma Massive MIMO. And uh, we think using the Massive MIMO instead of you know, there are many operators around the world that don't have 5G yet. So we uh, apply the massive MIMO to the 4G uh, uh, spectrum, which is the uh, typically uh, uh, FDD. That will be able to at least double the, uh, the capacity uh, with such kind of uh, technology. Um, and we also bring forward uh, the, you know, the, the computing power used to be nice in the uh, data centers in the core network. And now we're able to uh, also customize and bring those computing power from the data centers into the edge of the uh, network, which is the uh, uh, base stations. That will help uh, the customers, you know, can uh, cope with the, uh, or say prioritize the uh, traffic for the uh, for the users. Uh, with such kind of uh, breakthroughs, uh, we are able to uh, further simplify the network uh, for our customers all around the world and eventually uh, enable them to uh, have a much greener network that will uh, definitely uh, help us uh, to, you know, we have a common uh, target, which is to achieve uh, net uh, zero emission uh, in, the, in the coming decade. Additionally, uh, in the transport uh, segment, ZTE is the pioneer also to bring the 800G and uh, 1.6 terabyte solutions to our customers. In Turkey, ZTE has completed the world's first ultra-long distance 800G OTN international transmission uh, trunk. This covers over 2,000 kilometers. And um, ZT in the fiber access segment were also the pioneer. We are the first ones bringing not only fiber to the home, but also fiber to the room uh, solutions. Uh, today, we are able to help a lot of our customers achieve uh, the growth not only from the wireless, but also from the fixed. And um, with the uh, ZT network solutions now, we're span, span, you know, expanding from the land also to the ocean, 
uh, to the mountains. More than that, we are also extending our coverage from the ground to the air. Uh, we are the first one bringing the 5G ATG uh, to commercial uh, service. We are enabling the 5G connectivities uh, to the passengers in the air aircraft above 12,000 meters in the sky. And we are also collaborating with our customer like China Mobile for the NTN technology. And we are launching the satellites carry on the base stations. So the base station is functioning, functioning in the air instead of on the ground. And that will be uh, bring the coverage to everywhere around the world. And uh, eventually eliminating the boundaries of the uh, communication networks. Okay, that's great. Well, that's, uh, that's, you're covering a lot of stuff there. Yeah. Um, I want another major theme of the event has been um, ZTE's emphasis on collaboration and symbiosis across various sectors um, to further enable digital transformation. Mm -hmm. Could you tell us a little bit more about that and specifically how it may um, enable 5G advanced applications and scenarios? Well, 5G advanced is definitely the uh, happening, not for the future, it's happening. And with uh, 5G advanced technology, we are able to break the boundaries for different uh, industries. We are able to collect all different kind of uh, industries through our innovative uh, digital nebula platform. And uh, ZT is an active uh, actor and enabler in this extent. We are collaborating with over 1,000 industry leaders worldwide to create uh, customized, uh, digitalized solutions based on 5G A. For example, with Guangzhou Minor Equipment, we integrated high precision industry base, base station with smart manufacturing, empowering automakers with 5G technology. We collaborate with uh, Sky Limit Entertainment to test the XR gaming using 5G Advanced and expanding the, uh, their application scenarios. In pharmaceutical industry, we enable digital transformation for Yinghua Pharmacy, optimizing products from raw ingredients to liquid formulations. Uh, in Malaysia, we support this year's uh, Sukma, uh, the largest uh, sport game in that country, with ultra high, defini high definition live streaming in 5G at once. Pioneered a new wireless broadcasting model and offering innovation into the future of event bro broadcasting. With twin tra transition, digital and green is the core of our insistence on symbolics. Uh, we achieved a 10% annual reduction in carbon emission for several years and consistently earned CDP's A ratings. This is the world industry's uh, large, uh, highest score. In collaboration with SBTI, we are on track to achieve net zero emission for scope one and two by 2040 with a global carbon neutrality by 2050. Through joint efforts in technological innovation and ecosystem building, we are partnering with global leaders to shape a future that is both intelligent and sustainable. Okay, thank you very much. So just as my final question, here we are in Istanbul in Turkey. Could you tell us a little bit more about um, ZT's strategic priorities when working in emerging markets such as Turkey and especially with uh, local telcos such as um, Turk Telecom and Turkcell mm -hmm. and how, the, how that um, relationship will affect the, the region's 5G landscape? Well, uh, in this beautiful country, telco service is really essential. As you have mentioned, those companies, they are the uh, uh, key players to ensure that Digital Turkey program is successful. ZT's strategic priorities in emerging markets such as this country, Turkey, and the broader Middle East 
a focus on fostering partnership with local operators and providing customized solutions for their unique needs. Our collaboration with Tuxcel and Tuk Telecom uh, exemplifies this as we work together to drive 5G adoption and enhance regional digital transformation. What sets us as ZTE apart from our or their competitors is our commitment to open innovation and providing flexible, energy efficient solutions that you know, offer faster return on investments. By aligning over ourselves with local market demands, we are creating sustainable value for our customers while securing comparative edge in the 5G space. A few weeks ago, in Turkey, ZT set a 5G A world record again through 5G NRDC and with Telcel. And the peak downloads rate exceeded 31 gigabyte per second. It is applicable to new business models and works with Turk Telecom to deploy integrated 5G sensing base stations in the Bosporus Strait to realize real time perception and management of sea level ships. Wireless networks construction in the European market continues in Italy with our customer Ventilaire and in Austria with Hutchison. ZT uses 5G SA and 5G A to help operators stay ahead of the market. In uh, Asia, in Indonesia, again, rank computing increase user experience by 15% and network traffic by 5%. ZT is committed to bridging the global digital divide. In Liberia, ZT's rural network solutions covers users in remote areas of 580,000 homes. Allow, allowing more residents to be benefited from the, the digital technologies through cost-effective terminal devices. In MTN, ZT has uh, you know, collaborated with local operators, achieved the first 5G marine time coverage in Africa with a downlink rate of 210 megabits per second at the edge of the territorial sea laying a solid foundation for the development of marine time economy. OK, that's great. Thanks again for that. And, and thank you very much for um, inviting me to this big and busy event here in Istanbul, uh, where I've learnt a lot about the future of the telecoms industry and how it will impact the world. So thank you. Thank you as well.